Hey sis, welcome back to my channel. So as you guys can see, I'm back with my bright lights and my clean background. That's right, I'm back at school, so you guys will be getting a lot more content from your girl. But if you're new to my channel, thank you for watching. And if you're new and are not subscribed to the Slay Squad, girl, what you doing? Like, all we do is have fun over here, so... I'm gonna need you to hit that button. I'm going to give you guys my honest review, so let's get into it. This is my NARS Naturally Radiant Longwear um, Foundation, and I did mention this in my What I Brought Myself for Christmas video, which I will leave right above here, but I wanted to do this separately in its own kind of video and give you guys the appropriate test um, being that I have my lights now and you can just see me a whole lot better and the quality is a whole lot better this video so we're gonna use this and I've been using this for the past couple of times that I've worn makeup and honestly it wears beautifully so I'm so excited to review it for you guys so I just bring you guys in a little bit closer and clip back my hair because I hate when I'm editing a video and all I see is me doing this like oh I hate that and I hate that I touch my hair so much so I'm pinning it back so hopefully I won't have to touch it matter of fact we throw it in a ponytail too honey I'm trying not to touch it at all during this video like at all I'm trying to just be a whole different person 2018 okay all right so here we go it's all pulled back so I like to do my eyeshadow first and I hope nobody minds that but that's what I like to do so I think I'm going to do what I would normally do and just do my eyeshadow first so let me figure out what kind of look I want to do and then I'll come back alright guys so I'm back and I did a little bit of color correcting even though I honestly didn't really probably didn't really need to because the foundation I'm using is pretty full coverage but I always color correct under my eyes because like I said it's a problem area but I don't know if you guys can really see this because of the lighting it's probably making it look better but I have a lot of scarring over here so this is going to be the test of how the foundation blends out and I think it will do a very great job and I am in the shade Cadiz this is not one of the new Tanar shades I am just very loyal and faithful to Cadiz but they do have many new shades in this foundation so if you guys want to check it out they have a lovely shade range like I think it's amazing shout out to Riri because she got everybody expanding their shade range but yes this is my shade I am Cadiz and um I brought the NARS all day luminous lightweight whatever the whatever it's called and I hated it I took it back the jar broke on me it was terrible this one I have zero problems and I'm about to show you guys why so i'm gonna start on this side of my face being that this is the side that has most issues and problems so i'm going to pump two pumps just like that and one up here and one down here and honestly you probably well i'll put this in the middle because i don't want to waste product you honestly probably don't even need this much this is just what i've been doing Stop I don't feel anything on my face. Nothing at all. Like, it feels like it's still skin. So, where, where, where was that discoloration? I, I don't see it, but I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna keep blending. Sweater got it, got a nigga trapping, girl. You find her on the Guys, so boom this is how the foundation looks after I blended everything out and as you can see it gives you that very nice dewy finish at first this foundation is in my opinion full coverage I don't really know if it claims to be full coverage yeah I'm not sure but it's definitely full coverage I do not need any more than that 
it like I said it covered up all this discoloration over here and <laughs> I'm in love like when I say I'm in love with this foundation it made me put my Fenty down and not because I like my Fenty more but I am just really a dewy finished girl and I really love dewy finished foundations it just kind of keeps that naturally healthy look on your face so I'm gonna go ahead and apply the rest of my makeup and I'll come back at the end to tell you guys my final thoughts on everything. As for this baby, I love this foundation guys. Like I cannot stress it enough. It is so beautiful. It wears so beautiful like, ooh, ooh. Like I just look like I'm glowing from within and that's mainly what I look for in foundations. Um, I love my Fenty Beauty foundations, but sometimes I really just don't feel like being matte. And honestly, when I don't feel like being matte, I would either go to my Holy Grail. And this is just the high-end version of this, in my opinion, excuse me. But I do still love this, and I will never put this down for nobody. But this is a great alternative if you like the results of this. And as you go out through the day it wears beautifully you don't have to worry about getting super oily you will get dewy and I like that look personally so I see no problems with getting dewy so that's that and it came out beautifully so as of right now I have no complaints so I thank you guys for watching this video let me know if you were wanting to try or have picked up anything that I mentioned in this video if you're new to the Slay Squad welcome and if you guys are not subscribed hit that subscribe button so you could be a part of the slay squad as well we're all sisters here on my channel i thank you guys for watching this video and i'll see you in my next one bye guys